All right, so today we're gonna do this uh, photo album. I picked it up at the uh, Munich flea market for five euros, so about $5.50 in the US. Usually don't pick up these. Um, the lady had a very good deal and I said, you know what, I'll take a chance. You know, not really a photo album for me, but I'm gonna save it and, you know, keep it for a later date. I guess someone originally sold it for three euro and 90 euro cents. It's interesting how these things get bought and sold, but here we go. Their uh, wedding, 10 August, 1957. And then we have the happy couple here. Beautiful wedding photographs. I think of two different people right there. Really cool. And continuing on. And here we have one of them. Uh, this is the only photo that I would be interested in because I love my military. But two young ladies and a soldier. And then this older photo, probably of... The person's mother or grandmother, uh, so the album being the 50s is probably a photo from the 30s. Continue on. Probably should just keep it sideways here. More wedding photos of them being married and then them uh, in front of a longer building, maybe part of a train station or something. More of those photos of the uh, groom, the bride. Honestly, it's a beautiful little book. There's another one of the bride and her flowers. And then another older photo, probably of her mother. I'm going to say this probably 40s compared to this one in the late 50s, but just because of the photo paper. Sort of uh, photo paper is different throughout them. A few photos have been lost here. But uh, the family, I believe, is what's saying and who the family is. Let you guys read that if you can read German. And then there are them uh, probably taking their vows. Again, I'm not entirely sure on what that says. Their wedding car with the flowers and them right there getting married. And gosh, they look so happy, honestly. And here's some other photos of a lady with the baby and the kid. Then the kid up in the air, the kid right there. Then uh, all of them together on a statue. Continue on. It looks like there were a few photos there, but they're missing, sadly. Then this is Richard, I don't know who that is. And then a couple right there. So we go on and we have Christmas, little girl and her doll. And then these two individuals talking in 1957, kind of funny. Then we go flip this right back, and there's some individuals, probably Oktoberfest. Yeah, Oktoberfest. That's kind of cool. 1950s photos of Oktoberfest. 53, 56. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But I believe so. And there's the lady writing at a desk. And then I believe the place that she works at with probably a picture of the founder in the background. Uh, I don't have these two, but something in Regana in 1954 and something in 56. And we go here, and we have a Halloween, I believe, <coughs> or a fun party. And then we have another little party thing there. And we flip this back for the bottom photo of the lady right there, Eldridge Star. Not entirely sure. More photos of this wacky party. And they're in cool little, well, not little, big hats, honestly. And you have that kid right in the front. And that wonderful smile as they're all together. And then the ladies group, probably some of the older uh, grandmothers. And then you have their son, most likely, in the center. All right. And then Pestin Radi And uh, Scenery Alfred. I can't read that. Then them in swimsuits underneath a nice little umbrella. It's interesting to see how swimsuits have changed throughout the years, both for men and for women. Um, here she is on the dock with a castle up there, and then the city from the air. Don't know what it says, but there you guys can read it if you can. I believe this is in Italy. Uh, Basilica San Marino. No, it might be Spain. And then I don't know. And then another for San Marino. Them on the docks with the old motorboats. Then the whole line of like uh, places that you eat. 
more of the San Marino the mountain. And then the ladies with the swimsuits and the boat in the background, nice and wood. And then rail cars going up to the top of like a hill or mountain. And then we have them walking around on the streets and the two ladies talking to the young man. Then more of the pictures of them in his group, William, 1959. Flip this. And it's uh, something of this city. I'm going to say it's probably Arbor's there, Dresser's there, and they're taking it at the top of one of the mountains. I'm not entirely sure. And this is a postcard they probably got. Um, I don't know where that says it is. Sorry. And then we're going to go through, and you have more photos of mountains and castles. And up there, sadly, it's sort of sun-bleached of a couple. And then something about uh, entrance, I can't fully tell. And if we go down to the next one, we have some individuals roofing. Some more individuals roofing and the couple underneath. And then a couple of buds, it looks. And here they are again. There's uh, them playing some instruments. Uh, a bunch of cars as they're hanging out and an older couple. Someone trimming a pond, which is pretty cool. And then this lady in these two photos walking down the street and standing in front of a building. A couple kissing under street lamps. Two uh, just couples taking pictures and walking down the road. And picture of a shop front. This one's kind of funny. So if I zoom in, you can see sticking her tongue out. Just hilarious little photo. And then you have uh, this individual at the shop, and this guy in the snow. Continuing on, uh, reckon the, uh, I can't, the couple standing in the snow as well. And then a photo of the couple in the snow, and then some guys leaning against a mountain. Then you have here one of the baby photos of them with the couple toy horses and the lady right there with her cool glasses. And then these ones aren't in the photo, well, in the photo album, but sort of falling out. Guy standing on a hill with some rocks. And then a lady getting a photo with an older lady right next to her and the cool cars in the background. And that is it for this photo album. They actually, it doesn't look like they ever finished it. But... For five euro, honestly, I found it just a kind of fun little trip through history. Interesting on where and why these things come up for sale and whatnot, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if I get more photo albums in the future, I'll go through the photo albums on a long video like this again.